I'm honored to present to you some of the student engagement work around plant-based health and nutrition here at Downstate. Um, I founded the Lifestyle Medicine Interest Group in the summer of 2020, which is a trainee chapter of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, and it was the first in the New York City area. Uh, an excited group of students from the medical school and the School of Public Health got together and during the lull of the pandemic created some Zoom lectures with speakers including Eric Adams, Kanchan Koya, and Dr. Saray Stankik. Past recordings of these lectures are available on the SUNY Downstate Lifestyle Medicine Interest Group YouTube channel. Now approaching its third year, the executive board of the group has grown to include residents at Downstate and continues to promote plant-based diets among its students. Dr. Marnie Markell, who is a nephrologist here at Downstate, has been running a summer research lab for students interested in plant-based diets, and we've been conducting survey research on the patient population at Downstate, asking about perceptions and misconceptions about, about plant-based diets. Abstracts of these findings have been accepted by the National Kidney Foundation and the American Society of Nutrition. In the School of Public Health, Shannon Caravello, who's also a lecturer at Kingsborough Community College, recently defended her dissertation on the attitudes of college students around plant-based diets. She hopes that this work could be used as a proof of concept for initiatives to get college students eating more vegetables. Ayana Besson, who is an epidemiology student in the School of Public Health, is working with Plant Powered Metro New York to measure the effectiveness and successes of the Plant Powered Metro New York Jumpstart programs. She also recently spoke at the UN for their 2021 International Youth Day, speaking on the topic of transforming food systems, youth innovation for human and planetary health. Now I'd like to introduce some of my colleagues to speak about their projects around plant-based health and nutrition. Hola, my name is Gabby Yesavesinoa, rising fourth year medical student and executive board member of a student club called DIME, which stands for Downstate Initiative for Nutritional Empowerment. DIME's goal is to empower individuals and communities to use nutrition in support of their well-being. Thanks to the generosity of the Medical Executive Committee and the selfless dedication of talented individuals from multiple fields like nutrition, public health, and medicine, we now have a flourishing community garden on campus. The community garden will also serve as an interactive educational space where children, adults, and future healthcare providers can learn about the benefits of a whole food, plant-based diet. I'm a SUNY Downstate medical student and a Plant Powered Metro New York ambassador. I teamed up with Ms. Patricia Pio, who is a dietary nutritionist, and Dr. Garnier, who works in Suite R of SUNY Downstate, to host a seven-day Plant Powered Metro New York challenge dedicated specifically to address um, the Haitian community in East Flatbush to help them get exposure to plant-based eating and find out ways that they can modify their cuisine to have more whole food and more whole plant-based um, um, meals. We ended up teaming up with Radio Soleil, which is a Haitian radio station based in Brooklyn that broadcasts its radio to not only the people who can access it here in the United States, but also back home in Haiti. We had a three-part presentation. On Sunday, Dr. Garnier talked about the health benefits of plant-based eating, why he talks to his patients about plant-based eating and how it can help modify the way they manage chronic diseases like diabetes, like hypertension. And what we ended up doing the following week was getting people on a Zoom call to talk about what they're excited about when it comes to being exposed to plant-based eating. With the financial support of nonprofit Plant Powered Metro New York, we were able to deliver groceries to people. And I thought that it was a great way for me to be there for my community, a great way for us to collaborate with other people in health and to really get everybody on board in trying to use their food as a way of healing themselves. A lot of medical students, after going through clinical rotations, have become more interested in plant-based diets after seeing the 
burden of chronic disease and the injustices of health disparities. In 2021, then Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams awarded Downstate a grant of $10,000 to provide nutrition information for students, which was delivered through the Gables Institute and the Center for Nutrition Studies. Students remarked how this program changed the way that they've been eating, how they would like to implement these kind of changes for their patients, their future patients, and how this kind of program should be taught to every health professional. We are very grateful for these kind of opportunities and for the incredible mentorship at Downstate. And we look forward to entering the workforce as healthcare transforms.